And a special thanks and shout out to Norm Majeski from Grand Prize Cars in Cedar Lake, Indiana for allowing me to come out and check out the 1988 Buick Riata and its LCD instrument cluster. Hello everyone, Josh here from Neighborhood Car Reviews and I am at Grand Prize Cars in Cedar Lake, Indiana up near Chicago. And we are inside this very nice and very well equipped 1988 Buick Riata. Today we're not going to review the Riata, but we are going to kind of go over the digital instrument cluster found in this car. It's pretty unique, uh, pretty basic though. Um, we'll go over it in detail, but there's some neat functions in here. So without further ado, let's take a look at the uh, phosphor green digital display. All right, and upon closing the door, the Riata does do perform a system self-check. It calibrates the display screens. This activates by placing your hand on the driver's side door handle and opening the car door and then closing it. Then it's the only time the Riata splash screen will show up on the display screen. After that, after the vehicle starts, it just functions as usual. All right, as you can see, it's just a black panel with green phosphor LCD displays. You've got your current time, your miles, digital speedometer, bar graph fuel gauge, and of course your trip odometer. As well, um, you have your trip reset and gauge buttons. We'll go over all that here in a second. So you'll see that this car lacks some gauges. However, if we go over to the graphic control center and hit the gauges button down the lower left-hand corner, You'll see we also have a 6,000 RPM tack. We've also got our oil pressure, battery volts, and coolant temperature, as well as digital readouts below the bar graphs. So that's pretty cool. So let's get back to the instrument cluster. You can change it over to metric if you'd like. You can do a test screen, which displays all warning functions, just to make sure that everything is working properly. And you can see just kind of an overview of all the things trip set trip reset just reset your trip odometer the gauge button is kind of neat because right now we have a full fuel gauge uh, of the full scale but if we do the gauge it goes from a quarter tank and details out from quarter to empty which is I think is a really really neat idea so like I said there's not too much um, turn indicators have weird they don't click kind of odd but very very cool so this is just a look at the digital instrument cluster of the 1988 Buick Riata all right we hope you enjoyed that video and learned something from it it's pretty unique I know it's a little bit dated but for 1988 that's pretty significant if you like this video and would like to see more like that please comment down below don't forget hit the like button and subscribe and also check out our Facebook page at neighborhood or facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and as always, thanks for watching.